hey YouTube opinionated review here bring you guys an untethered jailbreak video for 5.0.1 with snow breeze so this video is gonna help you get an untethered jailbreak while preserving your baseband if you, you know snow breeze is infamous for preserving your baseband for unlock so you don't have to worry about your baseband being updated if it was unlockable before when you use a snow breeze custom former it's gonna be unlockable after I know I hate snow was waiting for uh, iBook fix and that's why he didn't release this earlier and iBook fix came out yesterday so that's why he released it today and I think uh, snow breeze also made two years today so happy birthday to snow breeze yay cue the balloons cue the balloons somebody <laughs> but yeah guys so you're gonna only need uh, two things you're gonna need the iOS 5.0.1 firmware as you can see I have my hair for my iPhone 4 I'm using an iPhone this time to show you guys how to activate instead of my iPod touch because people be bugging about that secondly you're gonna need snow breeze 2.9 and that's the only two things you're gonna need this jailbreak supports every device on iOS 5.0.1 except the iPad 2 and the iPhone 4s as soon as the jailbreak comes out for those devices, I'm going to do a video on that. It does not include iPhone 4S and iPad 2. Let me get that straight. With that being said, let's jump into the jailbreak. First thing you're going to do is right-click Snow Breeze, click Properties, click on Compatibility, and for Windows 7 and Windows Vista users only, if you're on Windows XP, don't worry about it. Click Windows XP Service Pack 2, check off Run This Program as an Administrator, hit Apply, and hit OK. Once again, if you do not see that option, do not worry about it. I don't know why people stress about that. It's only for Windows 7 and Windows Vista's users. Okay, let's go. Now you're going to run Snow Breeze. I'm going to go ahead and just click OK. And this Snow Breeze version supports uh, all these versions that you see right here. And every version that you see here is on Tethered, but we're doing 5.0.1. Click next, browse for your IPSW, I place mine on my desktop where it's easier to find, so I'm just going to go ahead and select it, right here my iPhone 4, GSM 5.0.1, then I'm going to go ahead and click next, now we're going to go ahead and click export mode, if you don't want a jailbreak, I don't know, if you don't want a jailbreak, I don't even know why you're watching this video, if you want to activate, you're going to have to select export mode, and that's what I'm going to select, if you don't want to activate, you could just select simple mode, and it's just going to build the IPSW, so we're going to select export mode, we're going to go to general, click next, and this is activate. If you do not have an AT&T SIM card to put and activate your device, you're going to have to activate. And I'm going to go ahead and select it so you guys can see from people bugging about that. So if you have an AT&T SIM card, do not activate. If you do not have an AT&T SIM card, select the activation option for your device. Now we're just going to go ahead and click next. Click next. Now we're going to go ahead and build the IPSW. Just click build IPSW. And Snow Breeze is gonna go ahead and build this IPSW. So as soon as Snow Breeze finished building the IPSW, I'm gonna come back when it's finished. Okay, guys, now that the IPSW is finished uh, building, uh, for this version, you see, would you like to donate to Pod 2G for the Untether? I already donated, so I'm gonna click no. I hope you guys donate to Pod 2G. He worked hard on this, and he's working hard on iPhone 4 s jailbreak as well. So now. Let's go ahead and we're just going to go ahead and click OK. And we're going to get ready to put our device into DFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, don't worry. I'm going to show you. It's pretty simple. All you have to do is hold the power and the home button for 10 seconds. Then you're going to release the power button and keep on holding the home button for 15 seconds or until Snow Breeze recognizes your device. So we're going to go ahead and click Start. And then we're going to go and start the instructions. So let's go. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Release one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. As you see, Snow Breeze has recognized and it's running iRev. So we're gonna just let Snow Breeze run iRev and put our device into a pawn DFU state. So all you got to do is click OK. Your device is going to have a black screen. Don't worry about it. Now you're going to close out Snow Breeze and you're going to open up iTunes if it's not opened up already. 
So now that we're inside iTunes, what we're going to do is click Shift, press Shift on your keyboard, and then you're going to hit Restore in iTunes. So press Shift on your keyboard, select Restore in iTunes. Now you're going to go ahead and browse for the IPSW that Snowbreeze created. It's going to be on your desktop. So click Desktop. And as you can see, it starts with Snowbreeze, and mine is the iPhone 4. So I want to Restore. Just click Restore. And Snowbreeze is going to go through the steps. Now, if you get any errors at this point, just visit the link in the description where I'm going to have a guide. At the bottom of that guide, you're going to see some error fixes, whether it's uh, any of the 1600 errors, uh, 3194, etc., etc. Just check out the link in the description. It's going to have error fixes there to help you out with those errors. So please check out the link. Don't come and comment and ask about the same thing I just talked about, those same errors, uh, the 10, 15, and all of that. Check the link in the description. I'm going to come back when iTunes is finished restoring my device. So guys, my device has booted up, and if you get stuck at the, the a screen, the, you know when the Apple logo is there, but it has like the loading bar on it? I'm going to put a picture on the screen someplace right here. If you get stuck at that screen, don't panic. All you, if all you have to do is force a reboot, so you're going to hold the power and the home button for uh, 10 seconds or until the screen just goes black. And then you're going to release the home button and hold the power button until your device turns back on. That's if you get if you if you get stuck at the screen with the Apple logo and the bar underneath. I'm going to put a picture up. All you have to do is hold the power and the home button until your screen goes black and then just release the home button and hold the power button until your device powers back on. Then it's going to come back to that same screen again and it's going to the, the loading bar is going to load up and your device should load back up. You're going to have to go through the iOS 5 setup or you can just restore from iTunes. If you selected the activation option, you don't have to worry about enter, uh, uh, putting in your AT&T chip. If you didn't select the activation option, you're going to have to put in AT&T chip and you can restore from iTunes. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up Cydia. As you can see, it's working. Just select my user and that's it. Boom. Untethered jailbreak for 5.0.1. And let me just show you that my baseband is the same and I'm on 5.0.1. You can see my baseband right there. It's 04.10.01. So yeah, guys, that's basically it. Remember, if you if you uh, come across any errors, just visit the link in the description. At the bottom of the guide, you're going to have uh, some error fixes to help you out. You are now jailbroken, but the jailbreak force be with you. With that being said, please rate, comment, subscribe. Have a nice day.